Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're taking a tour of the really interesting Jungle Navigation Railway Company, which was filmed over at the Just Trains Open House in Concord a couple of weeks ago, so let's check it out. So, sorry in advance if the audio and the lighting are not perfect on this. Literally, this was shot outdoors, so we were right next to a roadway, right next to a small municipal airport. And it was also shot using ambient daylight and the shade from the California Central Coast ON30 layout groups. Easy ups that were there caused a little bit of a shadow issue, so really sorry about that, guys but I do think you'll get a pretty good understanding of just how insane this layout is. This is what happens when a former Disney horticulturist decides to build a model train layout. Oh, you'll see, it's crazy. So let's jump to there and a big thanks to Bob for being nice enough to get on camera and show it off. And uh, this is my model train layout. It's a four by four uh, donut, essentially a pizza layout with a mountain in the middle. It's based off of Walt Disney's, uh, well, Adventureland at California and in Florida, and that sounds really weird, but um, with elements of Typhoon Lagoon mixed in, so all tropical themed all the time. My own version of the Jungle Navigation building right here. Uh, even carved the very tiny little mast that sits out front. Still missing the spears, but they will be coming in time. Uh, audio is actually audio pulled from the, uh, from the ride itself when you're waiting in the queue. And so this is Albert Awall on the DBC and the background music being played right now. Uh, let's see, elements in here thrown into a bunch of sight gags because, uh, well, it's, you know, it's fun. Uh, so right down in here we have the, uh, oh my goodness, I forgot what it's called. Oh, this is like Indian a white rail right? Yeah. So we got the uh, Indian rope trick. We've got, uh, uh, sorry, Typhoon Cyrus. Well, next to the Jungle Navigation Building, we have uh, Professor Porter's Tiki Bar based on uh, basically the outline of the uh, uh, Enchanted Tiki Room. Uh, inside, you have several tiki's carved by myself, a uh, handful of pendants from Bosco, and a couple swizzle sticks, one from uh, Disneyland itself, and the other one from Latitude 29 in, in uh, New Orleans. And uh, right down here behind the bar itself, you have Fritz from the Enchanted Tiki Room. Uh, eventually, I will have Jose, Pierre, and Michael as well, but uh, they're not there yet. Uh, behind the two buildings, we've got the... Uh, we've got the... Uh, crap. <laughs> Swiss Family Robinson. Thank you. We have the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Uh, as you can see, the layout itself is about 80% done. So the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse I've been holding off on. I uh, need to definitely scenic the area, install the four buildings, the kitchen, uh, the communal room, and the two bedrooms that, all the, uh, that the family had. And eventually a uh, working water wheel, hopefully as well, which uh, ought to please Dave Meek of Thunder Mason Mining Company because he's been asking about it for a while. Um, you know, a quick little point out here that all the palm trees are magnetized, they're neodymium magnets. And they just plop right on in. Same thing with the tiki's. Again, carved by myself. They just sit right down in there. Uh, other elements include, uh, well, various parts of uh, jewelry, including the uh, stitch figurine down there. It is a pewter charm off of a necklace that was bought at Hot Topic. I'm a little embarrassed that I went there to buy that, but I did it nonetheless, because it fits it and it looks cool. A uh, few gags here and there. We've got giant clams, which are actually just really small little members of a genus outside the giant clams. And then an actual giant clam, a uh, very young one. Uh, the unfinished building here that I'm currently touching is the DBC, the Disney Broadcasting Corporation, which is mentioned in the spiel of the, uh, the Jungle Navigator, the uh, Jungle Cruise. And uh, you'll hear Albert Awall playing a bunch of old timey songs from the 30s, 20s, and 40s. And uh, eventually I will have a little speaker installed in here. You will hear Albert Awall all the time. And I will even have him sitting here on the side of the building looking out uh, on the beach. Back behind that across the rails, we've got the uh, Tropical Imports building, which is nothing like the Tropical Imports building at uh, Disneyland. Uh, interior is entirely scenic out with a bunch of odds and ends, including a yap rice stone. We've got uh, wooden floats, uh, more giant clams. I've got a couple of boxes humorously positioned in there. The glass floats, as well as you can see, are uh, actually marbles covered in wedding veil tool. And in the very back, we've got uh, Star Wars propaganda posters. Uh, since uh, Disney now owns Star Wars too, and had to throw that in there. A uh, quick little point out to a couple of pendants that are sitting here. One is from Tiki Diablo of a Micronesian uh, 
tiki, essentially, carving. And the one in the back is one of Bosco's own against the side of the building. And if you don't know these guys, both are fantastic carvers. Bosco was uh, key in bringing back the lost art of making tiki mugs and carving tikis professionally. And uh, yeah, uh, moving on along, we've got, uh, well, we've got uh, from Typhoon Lagoon, we've got the uh, Singapore Sal's, which is a green grocer. I've got baskets of fruit outside, but I haven't yet completed them. Uh, down here, we've got a Vanuatu slit drum, which is actually a musical instrument or musical tiki. You can see the opening on the side there. Uh, around it, there is another social stick uh, top from Latitude 29. We have miniature PSP matting, otherwise known as Mars and matting. It's for making quick runways during World War II. And at various positions or places around the South Pacific, you can see it used as fencing. Uh, again, Singapore Sal's. Moving right along, we've got Castaway Creek. We've got an old engine, a Pratt & Whitney R1830. I hope that's correct, otherwise it'll get skewered. Uh, off of a PBY, half sunk in the lagoon, which does not yet have water, but will soon. Another Yap Rye Stone, another Tiki car by myself. Again, neodymium magnets make it very easy to uh, keep upright and remove quickly. Uh, palm trees made out of balsa wood and cardstock from Michaels. Uh, back around here, we've got Trader Sam's and they're giving us two for one deal, two of his heads for one of yours. Uh, the shrunken heads are actually uh, miniature Viking heads from 172nd scale and uh, just painted up. The character of Trader Sam is a kind of a halfway point between Trader Sam at Disneyland, Trader Sam at Walt Disney World, and Boana from How to Catch a Wild Bikini, played by uh, Buster Keaton, one of the great silent film actors. Uh, we've got a little Isetta, a little hand pump gas station, a uh, surfboard made up to look like a hot dog because that's just awesome, and we all know it. Uh, the front of Trader Sam's, they got more carved uh, shields and masks, kind of a mixed influence of African and Polynesian. Uh, above him is the you know, classic crossed trunks, or crossed, uh, sorry, uh, tusks of a uh, bull, or bull elephant, as you see above the uh, entrance to Adventureland. And of course, Trader Sam's itself, the sign is just repurposed swizzle stick top from Trader Sam's at Walt Disney Land. Uh, hammerhead Freds with the hammerhead on top. The last floats out front is the dive shop. Uh, eventually that will have uh, surfboards for rent, uh, diving gear for rent as well, and uh, all sorts of other fun stuff in there. Trader Sam's itself, and then uh, point this out real quick, is held down by magnets. As you can see underneath, magnets are here and along here, and the building just snaps into place. And that's it. Uh, homage to Godzilla, because if you're going to do the South Pacific, you got to have Godzilla in there somehow. I do something small and easy. Uh, of course, we have the seagulls from uh, Finding Nemo. Eventually, there will be a push button option here, and you'll be able to press that and hear them go mine several times. Speaking of mines, sea mine. It is a party after all, right? Is that what they said in the film? And uh, so I've got a couple guys, well, one of them is missing right now that should be poking at it because uh, another fun sight gag. Uh, two tracks off the side here will come off to a Y and eventually connect to a modular system for ON30. And we swing back around, you can see the rocky coast of the more northern, or sorry, northeastern side of the island, which is more exposed uh, and uh, receives more sun since it sits on the lower end of the equator. And back side of the Jungle Navigation Building, you can see the mask, you can see Tiki Bob hanging out there from Tiki Bob's in San Francisco. Various other uh, elements from manufacturers in O scale. Uh, a few things from Kevin Mancomer at Narrow Gauge Modeling Company and uh, a few other items from uh, other sources here and there. And of course, every building is entirely removable and can be broken down very, very easily. You see a few more elements. The inside will eventually have uh, have a full interior as well. Yeah, that's a quick run around of the Jungle Navigation Railway Company train layouts. And I'm sorry that I'm not prettier for this. So Dave is much better at this sort of stuff than I am. I, I typically hide behind the camera. Unlike Sasquatch, often seen and talked about but rarely photographed. This is a very so, rare sighting. Very, very rare sighting. Oh, one more thing to point out. I uh, forgot to show off the ticket booth, which doesn't have someone inside yet, but posters from various Disney films, including uh, Up and I think, uh, what else is in there? Ah, mainly Up. And then on the very front, uh, a bunch of Asmet car, or, or uh, 
sorry, a bunch of shields carved in uh, designs similar and identical to Asmet or the Asmet tribe from uh, New Guinea. And so each one painted, each one carved, painted, and installed on the roof. And of course, magnet in the bottom, drops down. There we go. Good enough. Very easy, very simple. Awesome. And uh, that's the layout. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Crappy handshake later. Exactly. <laughs>